Here within the next 24 hours, China is going to attempt to do what no other nation has done thus far that we know of, and that is land on the backside or dark side of the moon. You were looking at an up-close region, one of the mystery spots on the backside of the moon. It's one of many, as the moon has several different places on the backside that are very interesting in terms of the features. Most people not seeing these images, but I want to point out just a few places here, like this one, that have features within features within features that stick out that will be very interesting to see up close. And this is what China plans on landing on the backside. They're going to launch a Long March 3B rocket. It's going to blast off from China. If it succeeds, it will catapult China into the forefront of lunar exploration with a landing that no other nation has ever dared to even attempt. Now, they state that they're going to try to land on the backside and then also have a type of satellite in position to where it can relay information back to Earth from the dark side. And now they're stating that this lander is going to touch down inside of a 186-kilometer-wide crater, Von Karman. And this crater is part of the South Pole Basin, and it is the largest known impact structure in the solar system that we know of, that they're telling us. So they're going to go here. They're going to probe it with ground-penetrating radar. This is all what they're telling us. This is just all what the media is trying to tell the masses. Last time China tried to attempt a mission like this, they filmed it live, landing on the moon, and when they did, they fooled everybody. Everyone thought they were supposed to be landing at a certain location. They bypassed it, and they landed at 19.5 degrees. What's 19.5, some of you may ask. You've got some homework to do. You'll come to find out. Apollo mission after Apollo mission, whether they landed there or not, they targeted landing at 19.5. You're also going to come to find out that there's anomalies on every single planet in the solar system at 19.5 degrees. From the Great Red Spot on Jupiter, to Olympus Mons on Mars, to even here on Earth. There is something going on that people have got to start to see. So, China making leaps and bounds... Here, and this would be a huge accomplishment if they can get up there and successfully pull this off. They already have a lander up there, the Jade Rabbit, that has been sending back all kinds of images. And now they look to have this other one in another location. Like I said, there's several, several interesting locations here, but it seems they're targeting the South Pole Basin. On the dark side. So we'll see what happens here. I'll continue to update with information as they release it. But this could be a, a huge move. Also, if you're unaware, there is currently a comet visible in our skies, Wartanen. I'm going to be covering that all the way up to its close approach around the 16th of this month. And if any of you guys out there get any footage of that, Hit me up and let me know, dabu7yahoo.com. I'll make sure to share it and get it out there as well. And make sure to join us for Underground World News Live Friday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. Eyes to the skies.